Hi everyone, we are going to go through latest update of the Animate Diff videos, animations workflow that I created, and I have added something into this version after last week update video of this version 8 workflow. I will call this version 8.5, and for the control net here, I have add one more control net groups. I should rename this one to be a better organized and this is the depth map because in the last videos I have created like a cinematic style of animations and so I decided to use this control net for better layering on scenes. Let me reload one of the previous scene in the cinematic styles animation which is this one. In the beginning there's two ninja master and telling the ninja students to revenge. And this is the settings of this scenes here. As you can see, the IP adapter in general, IP adapter, I'm using this like a night street with some kind of light and raining. And then actually I can remove this basic face ID group because I am using this IP adapter face ID plus two in this workflow. Basically, I have ad groups. For animate diff, I am using the version three model the motion models. And then let's see the bottom part of here. The case sampler is the same and the detailer remain the same. And then the models loader at the beginning here, I have add the string to numbers node here uh, to basically easier to manage the numbers of frames in the travel prompts. Also the load video node for frame load cap. We are using the same numbers in that two points. Anyway, so uh, one input value to simplify this part. And then moving on to here, the added Taylor or in comfua, we call it detailer. Yeah, it is still remaining the same. Sometimes I test the video scenes, then I will be bypassing this group. I just want to generate the preview to see what kind of looks and style it is. Then I will go for the uh, detailers or the reactor face swap, and then I will connect that one together as well. Um, and then look into the IP adapter face ID. This module is integrated in the previous update, uh, version 8. And then basically this is very easy to use. And what you do is connect the IP adapter models, uh, the purple line to the face ID LoRa. And then the output of that is going to connect the animate diff model. These two purple line connected together. And then you're able to use the IP adapter face ID in your animations. Yeah, so basically this is very modularity. I designed this workflow with a modularity mindset to create everything in groups. If you need to use that, you can apply that. If you don't want to use that, you can bypass a groups or just set the group to never use. And then you can click the generate button and run this. And then once again, before you run a workflow to generate anything, make sure you have the correct input value. And if you don't need the face ID, you can just directly connect from the IP adapters. The models point to the animated diff models, purple point there. And then if you just want to preview the animations, you don't need to wasting your time to uh, run the detailers. You can just click never use on the detailer group. And also for the LCM as well. But then LCM, you cannot set group to never use. You have to just click bypass these two notes between the checkpoint loader to the text prompts and the IP adapters. So if you use the LCM, remember to set the case sampler sampling method as LCM as well. So right now I'm just using the checkpoint models without LCM LoRa. And then if I need to use the face ID, I will go through the IP adapter face ID groups, and then go to animate diff. Uh, remember to connect the right dots before you click generate. And the design of this workflow, uh, I was inspired by the kind of survival pack or loadout like this. And personally, my packing loadout and lifestyle setting 
are also trained with this mindset to set things in modularity. Like this loadout, they have food, water, survival tool, uh, your self-defense tools, and all kinds of gadgets. And this concept is bringing into the workflow that I design. If I don't need to use that, like this control net, I can bypass this. If I need to resume this control net, and I can enable this, and then let the data to go through here, and the detailer as well. So yeah, everything is modularity in this workflow that I'm designing. And if there's new features, I will also have a new groups again and make it a more flexible way for people to control. And let's try one more time with this ninja scene. Let's set it to like 30 frames and then we can try like a demo uh, in this tutorial. So this will be like few seconds, like in here we can try. In this scenario, we don't need the face ID because the ninja wear mask. So we don't need uh, showing the face on this scene. And I disable this one, let the general IP adapter pass the data directly to the animate diff. Let's see, everything looks good. Remember to set the width and height for the dimensions. And yeah, just click and run. So as the command prompt start running. You see the loading up the frames in control, net, line, art, open poles, and also the depth math also load in already, data pass to the case sampler. Yes, everything looks correct, uh, the frame is correct in the control net, and then let the case sampler, I will say after this uh, update will be labeled as versions 8.5, and I will be upload to open art for this update because it's stables right now. Um, and how do you download this workflow? Basically, you go to all workflows, uh, you click the left manual, go to all workflows, and you can find it in here. And I remember it's still in the most download. Yeah, you can click the most download button, and then you can see this animate diff control net LCM workflow that I upload in here. So yeah, basically, it's very easy to find. And then just go in the page and click download. Okay, looks like the generation is finished and we can see the few seconds result here. Uh, let's resume the preview here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This time the AI added the lightning behind the background is more clear. Uh, well, actually each time the generation is different. Um, so how do I do the character motion movement and animated it in Comfy UI? Well, I have a commercial license in artlist.io. So basically, this is a paid footage in this marketplace. And uh, they have music, they have sound effect as well. Then I am using those characters' movement footage to build these animations. So guys, reconsider before re-upload this video of mine. Because sometimes it is not me to report you. And for this one, if you try to re-upload this video and without commercial license, the creator of this footage will be finding you because I saw a few times already like someone called something something Muhammad and I guess that is from Middle East. Few of those YouTube channels are trying to just re-upload my videos and I saw that in YouTube notify me that they have take down those videos automatically in their system. But take down by YouTube is better than you get like a lawsuit from the actual creators of this video's commercial license footage. So whoever, Mohammed, you are watching, please don't be lazy. Maybe just use AI to gen. Your own content will be safe for you. And let's go through this workflow, the models links. Where do you download all these model files? Some of you ask me a few times, where can I download everything? And this time I remember, I have to mention this as well. Now, I list it here. I found every links that we need. I will post this content on futurethinker.org. So I go through each one with you guys here. Uh, so the checkpoint models I usually use to run image or videos. Uh, I am using the realistic visions as you guys know. And I'm using the Virgin 6B1, the realistic vision 6B1. And this is from safetyai.com. You can click this link, download this, and then the LCM models for SDXL. And here is the SDXL LoRa models and the LCM LoRas for SD 1.5 right here. 
So I list this tool, Laura's model, LCM, Laura's models on here. And the VAE that we commonly using for enhancing the image and details of your animations, FTMSE. So I'm using this one mostly to enhance. And of course you can use CKPT file extension or save tensors file extensions as you prefer. And then the ultra analytics models files like the beatbox and the CGM for segmentations. You can download it individually in this GitHub link. But then usually they have including in the comfy UI impact pack. When you download the impact pack custom notes, they will be automatically download this uh, for the face detector, like the detailer enhance your face, your hands, your person. And these models can also be clicking on each of this. They have individuals download in this GitHub page. So in case you miss that, you can download from there. And right here, this link is for all the control net models. So I guess everyone using stable diffusion should know about this GitHub, I mean, hugging face page or this link. And basically a lot of control net models you can download on here. And uh, if you want to download everything, yes, of course you can download everything, but mostly I'm using just one, like two or three of these models. And uh, yeah, just download what you need if you don't have that much storage and then animate diff motion models. Mostly we are using version two and version of three, but I'm also in this hugging face link. They have SDXL 1.0 beta and also the camera motions, camera panning motions, LoRa files here. So this is the official animated models page in hugging face. So yeah, you can see this is the version three SD 15 and then the MSDXL one and the rest of this one V2. Loris is the camera motions. Loris files you can download if you want to use that. This optionals for motion Loris, but uh, the version two and version three is mostly, we use that in animative. And the last one, the IP adapter models. And as my previous videos talk about the face ID, I have also showed this page, which is the ComV UI IP adapter plus custom note in hucking phase and they have very good lists every models files and links downloads links in this section so you can download everything in here but no like mostly we are using just the ip adapter sd15 and the plus sd15 and the face id plus v2 that is mostly what i use well i i have download everything but then mostly that is few things that we use often so yeah, that is all we got for this update, uh, the version 8.5 of this workflow. And I hope you guys like this. And mostly this update is more focusing for a cinematic styles animations. And the last one, the version seven is more for 3D cartoon styles and the 2D animate styles. So that one's more, they have like a background remove that is more for you create some cartoon stuff. Yeah. Uh, so each versions I have specifically for build for purpose and you can try different this uh, workflow versions as you need for what kind of tasks and even in general you can use this version you can enable or disable the notes group that you want to use or you need to use for your specific tasks. So this is what I have for today and I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.